All right, so we were cleared for the uh, Miami Six departure. The Miami Six departure out of TAM Miami or Miami Executive. The approach is within dates. Uh, June 20th of 2019 is when it expires, so we're all good. Um, there on the top right hand corner, depending on how you're seeing the chart, but you'll see the ATIS frequency, ground control, tower, any frequencies that you're going to need for departure. Then you'll see the plan view or how we can expect to execute these approaches, this departure procedure, and any altitude restrictions that we might have. Now, if you continue reading on there on the bottom part of the chart, you'll see notes saying radar is required, DME required, tow rope prop. Uh, operate in a manner that will result in best forward speed and climb rate and that file DP and remarks section of a flight plan. So all of those notes you want to be careful for. There may be some restrictions there for prop airplanes or maybe noise abatement procedures, anything like that. Now if you continue to the right there, you'll see the takeoff minimums, runway 9 left, 9 right, 1 3, 2 7 left, 2 7 right, and 3 1 all have standard takeoff minimums. Um, now, any special instructions will be next to that. You'll see it in that special instructions area there on the bottom right. It'll say, unless otherwise assigned, use the departure frequency depicted associated with the transition in your clearance. So basically just saying, do what it says on the chart. Now we have the graphical chart here. We would have to look at the second page, the textual chart, to get a better idea of what we're going to be doing. So if we're going to take off nine right, we would look at the second page and show there that a takeoff runway nine right is climb on a heading of zero nine or three to 900 feet before turning right vents. And it gives you an ellipsis there, three dots. After that, you'd look just below the takeoff departure information and you'll see a continuance of dot, dot, dot that say maintain 2000 or assigned higher altitude and expect vectors to our appropriate transition. Expect further clearance to filed altitude in 10 minutes other or I'm sorry after departure so basically after we take off from any runway there we're going to execute that next part of maintain 2,000 feet or higher as assigned and then expect vectors and a different altitude or a higher altitude within 10 minutes now after that there's going to be all kinds of transitions they can send you on now depending on each transition they have a fix that it comes from such as the Winko transition. If you see at the bottom of those transition, you'll see Winko. It says from over the Dolphin Vortac on Dolphin Radial 322 to Winko intersection. Now you would have to look back at the graphical format, look for Dolphin DHP, and then from there you would look at the Radial 322 over to Winko and see everything else on how to identify Winko from Pahokee VOR, LaBelle, or Lee County VOR. Now each of those will have a different, some of the transition will have different VORs that you're going to use as a start, but you can expect, as it says, just above that, vectors to join into that transition. So basically you would tune in your VOR into Dolphin or Fort Lauderdale or Virginia Key, put in the radial, and once that needle centers, fly that radial outbound until you get to your fix. Or if you have a GPS, even easier fly that heading, intercept the course, and then fly out on that course to your fix. Now, after that, it's always nice to talk about your runway and everything, but that would be on the airport diagram. So that would be the Miami 6 departure out of TAM Miami.